up everybody this is tech g back with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about health information technology in case you have no idea what this is so let's get into it health information technology this is transforming the healthcare industry by improving the quality of care enhancing patient safety and reducing healthcare costs as technology continues to evolve the role of healthcare information technology becomes increasingly vital in managing and delivering healthcare services in this video we're going to dive into what healthcare information technology is its components benefits challenges real world applications and future trends all right, so what exactly is healthcare technology? So healthcare information technology, this encompasses a broad range of technologies that are used to store, share, and analyze health information. And health information technology, this is designed to improve the efficiency, accuracy, and effectiveness of healthcare delivery by leveraging electronic systems and tools. All right, so let's talk about some of the key characteristics of HIT or healthcare information technology. So the first one is electronic health records, and these are digital versions of patients' paper charts, which provide real-time patient-centered records. Then we have the health information exchange. This is the electronic sharing of health information across different healthcare organizations. We have telemedicine and telehealth. So this is when they use technology to deliver healthcare services remotely. We have what is called clinical decision support, and these are systems that provide healthcare professionals with knowledge and patient-specific information to enhance decision-making. And then we have patient portals, and these are online platforms that allow patients to access their health information, communicate with providers, and manage their care. All right, so let's move on to the components of health information technology. So health information technology is comprised of various components that work together to improve healthcare delivery. So once again, we have electronic health records and EHRs. They are digital versions of patients' medical histories, which are maintained by healthcare providers over time. And they include key administrative and clinical data that is relevant to patient care. And also EHRs, they provide comprehensive and up-to-date patient information, which facilitates better diagnosis and treatment. Then we have the health information exchange, and this involves the electronic transfer of health information between healthcare organizations. It allows for the seamless sharing of patient data, which improves the coordination of care. And HIEs, they can be regional, state-based, or national networks, which enable providers to access patient information regardless of their location. Then we have telemedicine and telehealth. So telemedicine, this uses technology to provide clinical services to patients remotely, including consultations, diagnosis, and treatment. And telehealth, this encompasses a broader range of remote healthcare services, including non-clinical services like patient education and monitoring. And then we have clinical decision support. So CDS systems, they provide healthcare providers with knowledge and patient-specific information, intelligently filtered and presented at appropriate times times to enhance patient care and also CDS tools. They include alerts, reminders, clinical guidelines, and diagnostic support, which helps clinicians make informed decisions. We also have patient portals. And so these are secure online platforms that give patients access to their health information, such as test results, medication lists, and appointment schedules. And the portals, they do enable patients to communicate with healthcare providers, request prescription refills, and manage their health more proactively. And we have practice management software, and this automates admin tasks such as scheduling, billing, and claims processing, which improves the efficiency of the healthcare practices. And these systems, they help to manage patient flow, optimize resource utilization, and basically enhance the overall patient experience. And then we have health analytics, and this involves the use of data analysis tools to extract meaningful insights from health data. It supports evidence-based decision-making and helps identify trends, patterns, and areas for improvement and predictive analytics, population health management, and quality reporting. They are key applications of health analytics. All right, so let's talk about some of the benefits of health information technology. So implementing health information technology, this offers numerous benefits for healthcare providers, patients, and the overall healthcare system. First benefit is improved quality of care. So health information technology, this enhances the accuracy and completeness of patient information, leading to better diagnosis and treatment. And EHRs, they provide comprehensive patient histories, which reduces the risk of medical errors and improves care quality coordination. 
Then we have enhanced patient safety. This reduces medication errors through electronic prescribing and automated alerts for potential drug interactions and clinical decision support systems. They can provide real-time guidance, which minimizes the risk of adverse events. Another benefit is increased efficiency. So health information technology, it streamlines admin processes, reduces paperwork and frees up time for healthcare providers to focus on patient care and practice management software. This improves scheduling, billing and claims processing efficiency. Then another big benefit is cost savings. So this can lead to significant cost savings by reducing duplication of tests, preventing medical errors and optimizing resource utilization and telemedicine and remote monitoring. This can reduce the need for in-person visits, lowering overall health care costs. Another benefit is better patient engagement. So patient portals, this empowers patients to take an active role in their health care by providing access to their health information and enabling communication with providers and engage patients. They are more likely to adhere to treatment plans and make informed health decisions. And then the final benefit is the improved public health. So health information exchange and data analytics. It supports population health management, identifying trends and outbreaks and enabling proactive public health interventions. All right, so moving on, let's talk about some of the challenges that are associated with health information technology. So despite its benefits, health information technology also presents several challenges that need to be addressed. The first one is interoperability. So ensuring that different health information technology systems can communicate and exchange data seamlessly. This remains a significant challenge and a lack of standardization and proprietary systems. This does hinder interoperability efforts. Then we have data security and privacy. So protecting sensitive health information from cyber threats and ensuring patient privacy. This is paramount and health information organizations, they must comply comply with regulations like HIPAA and implement robust security measures. Another challenge is the implementation costs. So the initial investment required for health information technology implementation can be substantial, particularly for small healthcare providers and ongoing maintenance and upgrades. They can also add to the costs. Then we have user adoption. So successfully integrating health information technology into clinical workflows. This requires training and change management and resistance from healthcare providers and staff. This can impede the adoption of these new technologies. Another challenge is data quality. So ensuring the accuracy, completeness and reliability of health data is crucial and inaccurate and incomplete data. This can lead to incorrect diagnosis and treatment decisions. And then we have regulatory compliance. So navigating the complex regulatory landscape and ensuring compliance with various standards and guidelines. This can be challenging for any healthcare organization. All right, so let's quickly talk about some real world applications of health information technology. So health information technology is being applied in various ways to improve healthcare delivery and patient outcomes. And one of the ways is telemedicine in rural areas. So telemedicine has been a game changer for rural and underserved communities, providing access to specialists and reducing the need for travel. So for example, you have remote consultations that enable patients to receive expert care without leaving their communities. Then we have chronic disease management. So health information technology is instrumental in managing chronic diseases like diabetes, hypertension, and heart disease. And remote monitoring devices track vital signs while patient portals allow for continuous communication between patients and healthcare providers. Then we have EHR implementation in hospitals. So hospitals that adopt EHR systems have seen improvements in patient care coordination, reduced medical errors, and enhanced documentation accuracy. So for instance, the Mayo Clinic's EHR implementation, this has streamlined patient records, which improve efficiency and patient outcomes. Another real world application is population health management. So health analytic tools, they help identify high risk populations and target interventions to improve health outcomes. So for example, the Kaiser Permanente, this uses data analytics to manage population health, which reduces hospital readmissions and improves preventative care. 
Another real world application is clinical decision support in emergency departments. So CDS systems and emergency departments, they provide real time alerts and recommendations, which improves diagnosis and treatment. So for instance, the use of CDS tools, this has been shown to reduce septus mortality rates by providing timely guidance on antibiotic administration. And then we have patient engagement through the portals. So patient portals, they have increased patient engagement by providing access to health information and facilitating communication with healthcare providers. So for example, Cleveland's clinic patient portal, this enables patients to view test results, request appointments, and access health education resources. All right, so let's talk about some of the future trends in health information technology. So the future of health information technology is shaped by several emerging trends and advancements. And one of them is artificial intelligence and machine learning. So AI and machine learning, this will play a significant role in predictive analytics, personalized medicine, and clinical decision support. These technologies can analyze vast amounts of data to identify patterns and provide actionable insights. Then we have the black blockchain for health data security. So blockchain technology, this offers a secure and transparent way to manage health data, and it can enhance data integrity, streamline information sharing, and protect against cyber threats. Another trend is wearable devices and remote monitoring. So wearable devices and IoT technologies will continue to grow, which will enable real-time monitoring of patients' health and providing data for personalized care. Then we have interoperability standards. So efforts to establish interoperability standards, such as the HL7 FHIR, or the Fast Healthcare Interoperability Resources, this will facilitate seamless data exchange and improve care coordination. We also have precision medicine. So healthcare information technology will support precision medicine initiatives by integrating genomic data with clinical information to tailor treatments to individual patients. There's also virtual reality and augmented reality. So VR and AR technologies, they will enhance medical training, patient education, and treatment planning. So for example, AR, this can assist surgeons with real-time 3D visualizations during procedures. And then we have enhanced patient privacy protections. So with increasing concern about data privacy, health information technologies will focus on strengthening security measures and ensuring compliance with evolving regulations. All right, so to wrap all of this up, health information technology is revolutionizing the healthcare industry by improving the quality of care, enhancing patient safety, and reducing costs through components like electronic health records, health information exchange, telemedicine, and clinical decision support. Health information technology is transforming how healthcare is delivered and managed. Now, while challenges such as interoperability, data security, and implementation costs exist, the benefits of health information technology far outweigh these obstacles. And by embracing health information technology, healthcare providers, they can enhance efficiency, engage patients, and improve health outcomes. So the future of health information technology holds exciting possibilities with advancements in AI, blockchain, wearable devices, and precision medicine. And as technology continues to evolve, health information technology will play an increasingly critical role in shaping the future of healthcare, providing innovative solutions to meet the growing demands and challenges of the industry. And by staying informed about the latest trends and developments in healthcare technology, healthcare providers, they will be able to leverage these advancements to enhance patient care and operational efficiency. And embracing health information technology not only ensures compliance with regulatory standards, but also positions healthcare organizations at the forefront of medical innovation and patient-centered care. 